Massive changes are rolling out for Delta's American Express credit card holders, sparking both excitement and concern. Are the increased fees justified by the new benefits, and how will these changes impact your travel and spending habits? Let's find out. American Express has just revamped their Delta airline credit card. Yeah, things are changing. Quite a bit, actually. Prices are going up. But wait, there's more to the story than just a bigger bill. Starting off, let's talk about money. If you have a Delta Reserve or Delta Reserve business card, brace yourself. The yearly fees, they shot up from $550 to a hefty $650. Got a Delta Platinum? That'll now set you back $350 instead of the old $250. And for the Delta Gold Card fans, the prices jump from $99 to $150 annually. But here's a silver lining. If you got your card before February 1st, 2024, your new fees won't kick in until your next renewal date after May 1st, 2024. Not so bad, right? But why the increase? Well, they're adding some perks. For starters, the companion certificate just got a major upgrade. You know, the one that lets your buddy fly with you for next to nothing each year? Now it's just for trips within the lower 48 states. You can whisk your companion away to Hawaii, Alaska, Mexico, the Caribbean, and Central America. Just cover the taxes and fees and you're golden. This could save you a bundle, especially on those pricier flights. Here's another cool update. A medallion qualification dollar, MQD boost. So if you're holding the Delta, Platinum, or Reserve card, you're going to start the year with a $2,500 head start towards your MDQ total. It's a big deal because it gets you halfway to silver medallion status without setting foot on a plane. Plus, everyday spending on your card piles on more MQDs, inching you closer to that elite status. And there's more good news, especially if you dislike fees as much as the next person. New statement credits are rolling out across the six Delta cards. We're talking discounts on dinner, ride shares, hotel stays, and even Delta flights. Depending on your card, these savings could practically pay you your annual fee. Talk about turning lemons into lemonade. So the annual fees for these cards are on the rise. The Delta Reserve cards are jumping from $650 from $550, and the Gold and Platinum versions are also getting pricier. But it's not all doom and gloom. There's a twist. If you're a fan of the Delta Gold cards, there's a sweet deal where you spend $10,000 in a year, and bam, you get a $200 Delta flight credit. Not too shabby, right? But for the Platinum and Reserve card holders, there's no such luck on this front. Now let's chat perks. The famous companion certificate is getting a major upgrade. More destinations mean more fun, right? We're talking Hawaii, Alaska, and even places outside the US like Mexico and the Caribbean. And the deal is still sweet. Cover just the taxes and fees for your plus one. But wait, there's more. The statement credits, those are the monthly perks that help balance out the fee hikes. They're a bit tricky since they don't roll over, but if you're into dining out and catching rides with Uber or Lyft, you might just cash in on those savings. Here's where it gets interesting for business folks. Now, reward categories mean you can rake in more miles for your company spends. Think advertising, shipping, office supplies, all that good stuff. The more you spend, the more you fly sort of deal. But here's the million dollar question. Are these changes worth the new fees? Well, if you're a regular Delta flyer, these updates could be a game changer. The statement credits alone could make a dent in that hefty annual fee. And let's not forget the companion certificate. If used wisely, it could offset the fee increase on its own. However, if you're not all about the Delta life or keeping track of monthly perks, sounds like a headache, you might want to reconsider, especially if the companion certificate isn't your jam. The Delta Gold might be more your speed. Despite the fee hike, hitting that $10,000 spends give you $200 flight credit, turning a potential loss into a neat little gain. But at the end of the day, if Delta is your go-to and you can make the most of your perks, these cards could still be a win. It's all about how you use them, isn't it? After dissecting these major updates, it's clear American Express is aiming to sweeten the deal for Delta cardholders despite the fee hike. With enhanced companion certificates, new statement credit opportunities, and expanded earning categories, there's a lot to unpack. But the real question remains, do these perks truly outweigh the cost increase for you? How do these changes align with your travel and spending patterns? Dive into the details and share your thoughts below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more insights and updates.